so here's the thing. So we've been battling with rain, just really inclement weather for the last couple of weeks, making me really keen to get out and do something. The trip that I'm gonna do, not all that inspired. So the channel's about finding adventure outdoors. And I've always been quite intrigued by the idea of micro adventures and otherwise. So They're rolling back from the supermarket with every intention of cooking on the fire and <laughs> probably spotted that it looks pretty bleak out there it's actually spitting to rain now it's just another one of those reasons why i'm very reluctant to commit to anything so i'm not prepared to concede defeat on the fire cooking yet so as it stands i'm battling heavily with a really shit fire I've been trying to use some of the not quite so dry wood from my stash here instead of my stash out of the offender but there is also a little bit of light drizzle at the moment so there's the chance it'll end up going inside too so I don't want to waste good firewood for nothing so I'm not quite ready to concede defeat on the fire which means I'm going to start doing my prep outside in the hope that it actually gets cooked out here still raining a little bit, but screw it, it adds to the adventure. Cooking something different that I have, have not cooked before, in fact I've only eaten this once before. I kid you not, the rain's coming down the hardest it has the entire time I've been filming and it was forecast to have stopped raining an hour ago, so I thought it actually passed me. I think you can hear it on the frying pan now. Can't say it's not an adventure. So it's now absolutely pouring. I'm ending up with a little bit too much water and everything. I don't think I can move the fire, or can I? Screw it, I'm going to have to concede defeat on this. I'm just getting too much water into the frying pan. I've never added water to scrambled eggs before, <laughs> so I don't plan to start now. To give you an idea of just how wet things are, the table's not a great deal better. Not quite how I envisaged cooking dinner, but <laughs> we gave it a good honest go next day and who'd have guessed but the weather's coming out good so I'm gonna embark on one of probably my least well thought out adventures or activities yeah I'm gonna go for a run last time I ran was in the Masters game steer racing back 3.1 kilometers so further than I plan on going first run out but first I don't know if there's gonna be more as soon as I started thinking that I'm all I'm almost back to the offender I start to feel very tired so I went back to focusing on the fact that I weren't back at the offender and I just needed to keep putting one foot after the other just like bike packing all that matters is turning the pedals Because I'm here, it'd be rude not to come and see this little guy. Hey, come on. Come on. Hello. Hello. What you doing? What you doing? Hey. Come and talk to me then. Come and talk to me. Hello. 
You gonna talk to me? Well, I'm in the area that I'm going to do. It's a local lake walk, so it's a bit of a very easy bush walk, but generally the track's not in too bad of a condition after rain. Okay, so this little walk has actually inspired me slightly. I've found the perfect spot to stealth camp. Um, a little bit inspired by camping with Steve. Obviously, I won't be camping with Steve because that just sounds a little bit too broke back mountain for my liking. Um, <laughs> no offence, Steve. And so that might be this evening's endeavour. So I'll carry on, see what else the day brings, and we may come back here. Keep watching to find out. I'm going to do this very quickly because I think I've picked my tides completely wrong. Time it right, there is no water that you can get back across. Okay, it's about 10 to 5 now, and we're into it. So it's not a long way to where I'm camping. The trick is, uh, I want it to be quite stealthy. I have a feeling that there'll be a bit of walking activity. I'm just going to make my way there. Not quite the most direct route, but just taking in a few of these little walkways leaving at this point in the day because spent a lot of the day out exploring and so it was a sort of trying to get back home before dark to pack and leave try and cram as much adventure into a weekend as possible she reminds me a lot of the renegade although i'm a whole lot closer to camp tonight than i were on the renegade when i see the sunsets beautiful sunset out over the lake now navigate my way to my spot and try and get set up in the dark. Okay, so I'm out here roaming around in the dark trying to find my spot. And I know it's in this general area, but I can't for the life of me find the spot that I found that was really clear because most of it is really dense and with nowhere flat, which is a bit of a fail. Gonna head back to the bike and continue to scout as I head back the way I came but I have a feeling that it's right around me, but I just can't see it for the life of me. I purposely scratched out a flat section to be able to camp on to make it easy to spot when I got here tonight. Bingo. Now to get the bike. Okay, so way off in the distance. I can hear cars, but a little bit closer I can hear people, so I'm going to try and set up with my red light on and hope that I don't draw any attention, but we've kind of gotten used to red lights on this channel now. So now just to get the important things out of 
a frame bag to make the night comfortable. So, all set up. It's just gone quarter past six. And so now it's time for some dinner. You can't really see. Thai kaffir, lime, tuna and rice pre-cooked. So I haven't brought a cooker or anything with me this time. In the morning I'm going to pack up and go home and have coffee and breakfast and so on. So no need for a cooker or anything else. So I made this nice and simple. Since I'm stealth camping and inspired by camping with Steve, I feel it'd be rude not to stealth crack a step two although it is pepsi because i'm not drinking cheers here's to a successful swift camp out one thing i have come to realize about this stealthy little spot is while i'm laying across the hill i'm gonna be fighting not to roll out of I'll roll off of my bed roll for most of the night, I think, so this could be awful, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to my tent and I've just sort of excavated underneath it to try and level everything up a little bit and hoping for a little bit better night's sleep. Uh, it is admittedly still only 20 to 8, but better to do it now and then in the middle of the night morning it's about 10 to 5 been laying here for about the last half hour and can see that i'm not going back to sleep wind's really started to get up now so i think i'm gonna get into it get packed up and head home because there's no point in laying here for the next three hours waiting for it to get light let's get into it So this is a nice leveled out pad from last night. Time to get a helmet. And get on the way. Alright, so I'm going to try and capture my way out of the trees here. Let's see if I can move how I got on. Probably the next problem. And here we have a track. Definitely been a bit of rain last night. So I'm going to put the camera down and focus on riding. Out on the main road again. Nice, successful, swift camp out, solstice camp out. Quite windy. Not too cold. So that's nice. Just sitting here having had a sauna and a hot pool to rest some weary bones and muscles. <laughs> Left me with a with a really good high. Feel really good having done it, especially at not working out last year and the challenges associated with the fact that I didn't think it was gonna happen this year either. So that's absolutely fantastic. And another, another weekend well lived. And that concludes the episode and the weekend. Really expect to get out and do a few more things than I did. But, with that in mind, I didn't actually think that my camp out was going to eventuate. And so, and so I'm suitably wrecked, and so that's a good weekend, and the camp out did everything that it should have. It's left me really, really happy. Now back home to rest and relax, ready for another week of working to pay for it all. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if that's your thing. If not, that's fine too.